In this problem, we're going to divide these decimals. So the very first step in dividing decimals is to make sure that this number here is a whole number. So we'll start by doing that, by making it a whole number. To do that, we'll take this decimal and move it over to the right one time. So now we'll write this number, 79, right here on the outside. Okay, because we moved it over one time, we have to move this one over one time also. So this will become 300.2. Now we'll start the division process. The question we first must ask ourselves in our heads is, does 79 go into 3? Nope. Does 79 go into 30? Nope. Does 79 go into 300? It does. How many times? Well, I think maybe three. Let's go ahead and work out 79 times three and see what that is. So three times nine is 27. So I'll write down the seven and carry the two. Three times seven is 21. 21 plus two is 23. So 237. If you do seven and nine times four, it's gonna be too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the three right here above the zero. Then you put a decimal here, okay? Three times 79 is 237. Then you subtract. Um, you could try to do this in your head. I think it's uh, 63, but let's, let's do it the long way. 300, 237, and then subtract. So here's how this subtraction works. Zero is too small, so it won't work. So you wanna borrow it from this zero, but you can't, you can't borrow from zero. So then you borrow from the three, it becomes a two, and it makes this one a 10. Then you borrow, then you want to borrow from this one, so it makes it a nine, and it makes this a 10. Wicked, right? 10 minus seven is three, nine minus three is six. So we're gonna get 63. Then you bring down the two. 632, wow, that's a big number. What could this possibly be? Um, I'm gonna guess maybe, um, I, I don't know. So what would be a number that we can multiply this by to get this? Well, 10 times 79 is going to be too big. It's 790, right? Um, 9 is still not going to work. Maybe 8. What's 79 times 8? Let's try that. 8 times 9 is 72. You write down the 2 and carry the 7. 8 times 7 is 56 plus seven is 632. Yay, it worked. So we need an eight. So eight, eight times 79 is 632. Subtract, you get zero. So the answer is equal to 3.8. I hope this video has been helpful.